Good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to Flexibility and Mobility. Amazing, I hope everybody's having a great day. Excited to move our bodies and get nice and strong. Good morning. While we're waiting for everyone to join, I'm just gonna do a quick disclaimer. My name's Danielle, I'm really excited to be here today. So, before we get started, in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness to Canadian Armed Force members. By using social media platforms, the virtual fitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Force members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness level are unknown, and it's entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it's preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Force members to consult the Get Active Questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercises presented in this video, it's recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. Good morning, Dean. Good morning, Rebecca. So I am playing music today, so you will not need to play any yourself. Um, we will only need our mat. So for today's focus, we are doing some, <laughs> some core, balance and chest openers. Obviously chest openers for those of us who work at desks or are sitting down and we need to strengthen our posture. Good morning, Gwen. Hello, Lauren, yes. Um, and then we're also gonna be doing some balance poses um, up top and before I get started, making sure that when we're doing the balance poses that we're not locking out our knees. When we lock out our knees, um, I find that the pressure will go into the bones rather than into the muscle. So always keep a slight bend in the knee if you need to. And that is all. Let's do it. Have a comfortable seat on our mats to get started. Make sure that you're letting me know where you're viewing from. Incredible. So you can start in a cross-legged position. You can sit on your butt, whatever feels good for you. Rolling your shoulders back and down and just shutting your eyes, taking some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. What I want you to do for these next 10 or so breaths, I want you to focus inwards and dedicate these next 40 minutes for you to get strong, maybe have a little bit of fun And just try not to think anything that you need to do, what you do need to do later, what you did earlier. Just focus on you and your body and moving it around. Can you deepen your breath a little bit more, sitting up even taller? Feel like your head is drawing to the ceiling. Pull your shoulder blades down your back. Invite a small smile for these last two breaths. Being grateful for our bodies to move and the air we breathe. And slowly fluttering your eyes open. You're more than welcome to switch the cross if you had a cross-legged position. Rolling your shoulders, big shoulder roll. Opening your eyes or keeping them shut. Later on, we're gonna be doing some, just a couple balancing moves. If you wanna challenge yourself today, I'll tell you when to close your eyes. The balance challenge. And forward, sitting even taller through that spine, stacking it. Three, two, and one. Bringing one hand over to, onto your knees and twisting and opening to the side. Pulling your belly into your stomach. 
and change other side, twist, sit tall. If you ever find that your breath starts to come short or non-existent, you've gone too far and come up. And other side, keep it going. And breathe, last time. And forward, amazing. Hands behind you, open up your chest. Pull your shoulders back. Heart is proud. Pull your shoulder blades together, looking at the corner of the room for five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it up. Coming on tall fours. Coming into our cat and cow, your shoulders are over your wrists. And we're dropping our belly, looking at the corner of the room. And exhale, pushing up to the ceiling. And dropping your belly, looking to the corner of the room. Great way to loosen that spine, warm up that lower back, and exhale. Two more. Drop the belly, looking at the corner of the room, and push up. Can you make it even bigger for the last one? Inhaling, and exhaling. Okay, coming back on tall fours. Ready for your challenge. Pull your shoulders back first. Ground your hands. And what we're going to be doing is just lifting those knees an inch off the ground, pushing into the balls of your feet and lifting your knees up. Draw your shoulders away from your head. Breathing, only coming an inch off the ground. Feeling that engagement on the tops of the feet. Come out when you need to, but stay up if you can. We got two more breaths here. You got it, one more. And dropping your knees to the ground, coming into a puppy stretch. Your knees are stacked over your hips, or your hips over your knees. And we're just walking our hands out, stretching into the chest. So your first option here is just do your hands overhead. Or if you want, you can come into prayer, getting deeper into the triceps. You'll feel your lower engagement of those abdominals start to turn on. We love it. A nice, easy engagement. Breathe a little deeper. Can you sink down, really getting into the triceps or wherever you are? And beautiful, slowly walking up. We're just gonna get into our hips. So bring your right foot forward in between your hands, rolling your shoulders back. If you need to, you can double pat your back knee if you like that extra padding. You can stay here if that's okay. Option if you want, you can come up high depending on where you like to go today. Making sure your knee isn't going over your toe. And we're nice and tall. We don't need to sink right into it. Engage those glutes, stretching out that lower back as well. Hip flexor. Beautiful. We're doing a side stretch. So towards that right leg, your left hand draws over the top. No need to curl forward or back. Nice and tall, reaching to the corner of the room. Feeling into those obliques, into that side body. For four. Three, two, and one. Amazing hands to the ground, hamstring stretch. Slight bend in your knee. You don't need to have a flat back or a round back, it doesn't matter. Just a slight bend, my hamstrings are super tight right now. My leg's almost shaking. Beautiful. Flexing that foot towards your face. Relaxing now. Using your breath to make it a bit more comfortable. Three, two, one. Coming forward, coming into a runner's lunge. So hands behind, beside your feet, tucking your back toe, your left toe, and bringing that knee up. Option one, if you want to challenge, just have your fingertips on the ground, roll those shoulders back, long neck, building that strength in that quad. Hold it here for four, 
three, two, you can do it. And one, raising your hands to the sky, sinking down even lower. Beautiful, hands to heart center. So are you ready to balance? What we're gonna be doing is just transferring our weight onto the front foot and coming up into a warrior three. Option if you're not feeling the balance today, stay in this position. Breathing in and slowly leaning forward, coming up and balancing into warrior three. So your leg is nice and straight, your foot is flexed, your hips are facing the ground. Option to keep your hands at heart center or fly them back. For three, two, don't drop that leg. We're gonna be slowly coming back up to standing, bringing that knee with us, hands at heart center and coming up, using that quad, I know it burns, bringing that knee to chest. Option one, stay here. Option two, raising your hands overhead and stretching that leg in front of you. You can keep it bent, but it's totally up to you. Can you bring that leg a little higher for four, three, two, and one. We love the bird. <laughs> the leg behind us, we're gonna be coming back into that runner's lunge. Nice and slow, feeling the burn. And hands overhead, nice work. And bringing down, your right foot meets your left. Option one, knees down, or you can do a full chaturanga in plank. Shoulders back. Elbows come beside your body for four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Let's strengthen our chest with three baby cobras. Hands are underneath your shoulders. We inhale and exhale. Coming up, squeezing back down and down. Beautiful. And up and down. Can you come up? We're gonna stay here. Option one, to stay here. Option two, lifting up your legs. Toes are together, squeezing your glutes, engaging your quads. You got this for five. Three, two, and one, amazing. Push back, you're more than welcome to come into a child's pose or just hanging out on all fours, maybe shaking around doing some twirls, I'm putting the music back on. My speaker must have died. Okay, beautiful. So coming into the other side, left leg coming in between those hands. Roll those shoulders back, coming into our low lunge. Keeping your shoulder fingertips on the ground. Or option here to come up high. Incredible. You don't need to sink too far into it to feel it. Don't put too much pressure on your legs. Coming into that side body stretch. So your right hand engages and coming all the way to that left side. Beautiful, getting into that side body, into those obliques. Four, three, two, and one. Pull back, hamstring stretch. Keep a slight bend in your knee if you like. Flexing your foot towards your face, squaring off your hips. Only going until you can feel it. Breathing. Staying focused, you know what's coming. Hello, balance. Four, three, two, and one, runner's lunge. So hands in front, your right back toe comes up. And are you ready for our challenge? So fingertips, rolling your shoulders back, returning on those quads. Try to feel like your body isn't resting on that front leg. Suck in your stomach. Long neck, you can do this. Four, three, two, and one. Raising those 
hands up overhead. Beautiful sinking deep. I can see you get deeper. Amazing. Other side, hands to heart center. Warrior three coming up to the left side. One side will always be easier than the other. And laugh it out if you fall out. For three, two, and one. Leaning forward, lifting up that back leg. Flexing your foot. Keep a slight bend in that uh, supporting leg. We're not locking out. Option to fly your hands back. Soaring through the air like a bird. Amazing, bring your hands to heart center. We're gonna come up to standing, bringing that knee with us. Oh yes, we have the power of bringing that knee up. Are you ready to extend that leg, hands overhead? Flex your foot towards your face. At any time, if you need to take a break, please go ahead and do so, but you've got this. Can you raise it a little higher? Hopefully it's shaking, you know it's working. Gain that muscle for four. Three, two, and one. Hands to center. Don't rush this movement. Do it as slow as you can. Runners one. Beautiful. Hands up overhead. Next work. Hands down. Plank position this time. Roll your shoulders back. Chaturanga. Tricep push up for four. Three, two, and one. Amazing. Coming into a sphinx pose. So. Your shoulders are over your elbows. And just pulling your chest forward, opening it up, feeling your shoulder blades move behind you. Nice work. Wonderful. This time crossing your right hand on an angle, so it's facing that left hand. And then what we're gonna do is bring your left hand to the side and just take it a little twist to that left side. Option one to stay here. Option two is to bend that left leg and come into a quad stretch. So since we're doing heart openers, you can just do a quad stretch or what you can do is hold on to that foot and really pull back with that hand opening up that chest. Only go until you can feel it, don't need to push. Pull, press into that hand. Feel it in that quad for four, three, two, and one. Before we do the other side, just coming down, we'll putting one here on the ground, releasing, letting your lower back reset before we go on the other side. Inhale, and exhale. Beautiful hands underneath your chest. Left forearm facing that right hand. Open up, option one. Option two, grabbing your right leg and pulling your quad stretch. Or if you want, holding onto the foot and opening your chest up. Whatever feels good for you, feels good for you today. Holding here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Coming back, child's pose. Your knees can be wide or close, depending on your flexibility. And just sink down. Let's release that lower back. Almost coming into our core sequence. Walk it over to one side. Beautiful, another side. Amazing. And flipping it over onto our backs. We're coming just to a 10 second slow roll. Hands in front of you. And Curl, tuck your uh, pelvis in, and slowly roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. For five, four, three, two, and one. Pull your knees to chest and rock side to side. So are you ready to turn up the heat in the core? I hope you are. 
So, option one, have your knees stacked over <laughs> your hips, your knees stacked over your hips. And we're just going to bring our hands up. We're just going to be doing a pumping motion, looking up in the ceiling. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Option. You can extend your legs. Looking at the ceiling. 30. Nice. You can do this. Relax your neck. Looking up. 50. Keep it up. Really feel that stomach suck in. 70. Lower. 80. 90, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and slowly bring those knees to chest and give them a hug. We're coming into doing roll-ups. So having your feet extended, you're more than welcome to have your knees bent, um, having your hands over front, and we're going to roll up. So inhale, and slowly coming up to seated. Stretching forward, hands up overhead, and we're going to come down nice and slow, feeling that vertebrae coming one at a time all the way down. Beautiful. Three more times. Chin and up. Stretch forward. Can you go even further? Hands overhead. And slowly coming down. Incredible work. Two more times. Tuck your chin in, bringing your hands forward. Big reach. And hands overhead, stacking and slowly coming back down. One more. You can do this. And up. Stretching forward. And up and slowly coming back down, just laying on the ground. Amazing. So bringing your right knee into chest and just stretching that hip flexor, rolling your shoulders down away from your ears and bringing your shoulder blades off the ground. We're going to be doing two pulses and changing on the count of three, two, one. Pulse, pulse, change. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse, change. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse, change. Yes, keep it going. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse. You can do it. Four. Pulse, pulse. Three. Pulse, pulse. Two. Pulse, pulse. One. Pulse, pulse, amazing, relax your upper body on the ground, extend your feet to the air. Option one, keep your hands underneath your butt. I want you to open your feet into a V and point your feet, double leg stretch. You can stay here or you can have your shoulder blades off the ground, depending on where you are today, double leg stretch, we go down, inhale, and exhale, bring it up. Beautiful, nine more, inhale. And exhale. Amazing. Point your toes. Make that V. Make it pretty. And exhale. Only come as low as your upper back allows it. And up. Come in your lower back. Keep moving. Inhale. Are we feeling the heat? Beautiful. And exhale. Four more. Three, two more, and one more, and bring your knees to chest, amazing, bring your left knee in, extending your left leg to the sky, going into scissor kicks, the same pulsing motion, this time straight legs, option one. Come back to just doing the knees if that doesn't feel good. Scissor kicks, double pulse. 
Shoulder blades off the ground, looking at the ceiling. Pulse, pulse, change. Pulse, pulse. Your legs don't have to be totally bent. I mean, totally straight. Depending on your flexibility, pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse. Options, no hands. Pulse, pulse by yourself. Squeeze those quads. Four. Pulse, pulse. Three. Pulse, pulse. Come on. Two. Pulse, pulse. One. Pulse, pulse. Bring your knees in. Incredible. So, right leg, hamstring stretch. You can have your hands behind your quad or behind that shin. Just don't go on the knee joint, flexing your foot and just bringing it to your chest. We're gonna be doing some leg circles. Beautiful, bring it a little closer. Three, two, and one, okay. So pointing your leg to the sky and just have it on a slight angle. So we're gonna drop it to the left and down. Left and down, beautiful. Over and down. Relaxing that upper body. Over and down, making sure your shoulders aren't coming up to the ears. And down, one more. Over and down, other way. Open, down. Open and down. Three more. Open and down. Open. And down, one more. Open, and down, flex. One more stretch, pull it in. Nice work. And other side. Option here, you can always keep the uh, other leg bent, or bring it to flat, depending on your lower body. You can have it down here, or up here for the stretch. Four, three, two, and one. Amazing. We're crossing the body first, pointing, slight turn in. We cross and down. Cross. Can you go further? Down. Bigger circles. Cross and down. Nice work. Cross and down. Cross. And down, one more. Cross, and down, other way. Side, and down. Feel the engagement. Your quads, your feet, yes. Put those lower abdominals, hip flexors, hello. Two, and up, one, and up, beautiful, bring those knees to chest. Slowly grabbing behind, rocking up to sitting. Amazing. One more abdominal move before we get into our stretch. So sitting up nice and tall, your feet are flexed towards you, your shoulders are rolled back down. Feel your spine stacked on each other and feeling that head engage the ceiling. We're gonna be opening up into a T. Hand straight. Opening up your left hand towards me. Open up. Flex your foot towards your face. Engage, feel that growth. Sit a little bit taller. I know from doing all those moves, you should be able to feel it. For five, three, two, one. Amazing, nice and slowly. Grow taller, open up, other side. If you feel like your breath is getting short or non-existent, please come out of the pose. Just go until you can feel it. Feel the power for three, two, and one. One more, open. Three, two, and one. One more side. And one, beautiful, relax. Open up your chest one more time, hands behind you. 
beautiful bringing your left leg in between your <laughs> onto your inner thigh and we're just gonna uh, stretch forward with a flat back so flexing your right foot towards your face hinging at the hips and moving forward flat back at first deep breath can you go a little further and relaxing down rounding your back making this a passive pose before we go and do the other side coming into baby wild thing so stay in this position your left hand which is your bent leg comes behind you and then your right hand opens across your body and you push up onto that left knee and open up your chest in the back of the room. Feeling that opening, enjoy it. Five, four, three, two, and one, amazing. Let's stretch out that glute, left leg, cross it over and just give it a hug, give it some love. Sitting tall. Feeling this juicy stretch. Three, two, and another side. Amazing shake out those legs. Right leg in. Coming into that forward fold. Hands in front, sitting nice and tall. And hinging at the hips, going forward. Flexing your foot towards your face. And using your breath to relax. And folding down, relaxing, down your back once again. Relaxing your facial muscles. Maybe you shutting your eyes. Three, two, and one. Other side, baby wild thing. Your right hand will come behind you and your left hand will sweep across your entire body and then open up, coming onto that right knee and looking and pulling your hand over. Feeling in the side body, those obliques. Engage your glutes. And whenever you're ready, slowly coming back out of that position. And crossing over, giving that glute some love. Sitting up nice and tall, hugging your knee, your right knee to your chest. Baby wild things are one of my favorites. I always feel really powerful. Opening up your heart. Beautiful, and shaking out your legs. Coming all the way down, but we're never gonna miss out on an and get an ab move. So, slowly coming back down for five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing, coming into a spinal twist. So we normally, when I do my class, I'll bring your right knee into chest, and then twist over. You're more than welcome to do that. Option two is to come onto your figure four. So this position where your right leg is over your left leg. And what you make sure you do is keep that right foot flexed. And then you come into the spinal twist from here. Your right arm is down. And then you just drop that right leg to the ground. Option one, you don't need to hold on to your ankle. You gotta find that it's sometimes easy to feel it in that glute and hip flexor. Making sure that right shoulder is grounded to the ground. And shutting your eyes. Feeling into that hip. Keeping a flex in those toes. Or protect that knee. Four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Before we do the other side, 
We're just gonna windshield wiper the legs. Release the lower back. So you can come to the left side, just bring your knee to chest and crossing over. Or you can come into your figure four. So flex, roll those shoulders away from your ears. Your left hand is grounded. And we're just gonna go over any keeping of hip. I absolutely love this twist. And just naturally breathe. We love ourselves. We love our bodies. Three more breaths. And slowly coming back up, windshield wiper one more time. And you're more than welcome to do our final relaxation in Shavasana. Or if you want, um, I'm gonna do a hip opener. So bringing it into a reclined butterfly position. So your feet are together, your knees are wide. And you can either have your hands down below or you can have your hands overhead. You can hold on to your hands and it will just invite another chest opener. Why not? One more time. 40 more seconds of love. Find some stillness. Taking these next 30 seconds to think of all the things that you're grateful for. You don't need to limit yourself. Be grateful for as many things as you can. It can be simple. I'm grateful for nectarines, for their juiciness. I'm grateful for cheese and trees. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for sunshine and colors. I'm grateful for the opportunity to move my body, to grow, to get stronger, and also listen to my body when I need to rest and recover. For the rest of your week, I want to, you to smile to as many people as you can. Wave. And smile to yourself. Breathe in through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth all together. Inhale. And exhale. Since we've been in this position for a long time, use your hands to bring your knees back to center. And slowly rocking up to standing or coming to one side. And coming to a comfortable seated position. Thank you everyone for coming to do this flexibility fusion class. My name is Danielle Joel, coming in from PSPS Climax. I love you all. Until next time, have a sensational rest of your week. Hi, Gary. Hi, Melody. Hello, Tiana. Have an amazing day, everyone. Air high five every time.